Brad's alive! I'm so glad we saved all these people. Me too! Hi, David. Hi, David. Frank, did I ever let you know that uh, all no, these people... No, they feel, they, no, they, they, no more. I, I feel like that they're David, my family. You David. Know? David. I, I invited them to Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> and uh, I've already sent out Christmas cards. Did you, you know? invite me? No. Well, well, okay, fine. So, we've got plenty of time. Oh, God, you got a whole bunch to do. Uh, we've actually got plenty of time. There's one mission that's going to be coming up, but this one right here that I'm heading towards, we're going to finish that one first, and then go back to the one that's ending a lot sooner. I like how the coward bar is yellow, because it's like a... whatever. No, no, I got it. I totally didn't get it. No, I didn't get it. <laughs> and look at that, we're getting another scoop to work with. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. And special trick right there. If you use a sword and you jump down from any high ledge, just as long as you're slashing, you won't take fall damage. Video game logic. Ha <laughs> ha. No, it totally works. In real life. I've tried it. You know, I haven't. Maybe I should. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. Go ahead and try it. See what happens. Jump off your roof. You know what? I think I'll do that after this, after this episode. Yes. Solo project. Nah, I'm kidding. So where are we heading? We are heading... Let me think. Uh, we're heading to Alfresca Plaza, I believe it's called. It's the one next to the food court. But first, let's talk about powering up your weapons. Oh. Did you get another power-up for your weapons? Uh, actually, I got two. Oh, jeez. These three magazines that I'm holding right now, if you want to get through the game and get through it easily... You're going to want to pay attention to these three magazines. The first one we picked up in Wonderland Plaza, which powers up <laughs> sharp objects. The two that we picked up in this bookstore powered up tools and entertainment. The mini chainsaw counts as entertainment, so now... You just triple powered that chainsaw! Oh my god! Triple power, I believe it lasts for about 300 kills. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. And they're so hard to come by. Oh, no, wait. It's right there above <laughs> you, really. Infinitely spawning. Oh, my God. Perfect weapons. Wow. Problem is, it takes up four things of your of your uh, inventory. I was just about to say Really that. worth it, though. Is it? It's a, it's a trade-off that... I mean, geez, that's a reliable weapon you can lean on. It's quick. It's powerful. It takes out bosses like nothing. It can kill zombies in one hit. The best weapon in the game, bar none. Fantastic. So let's go test it out on some survivors. What do you think? Uh, I, I think you mean zombies. <laughs> do I? I hope you mean... I, I hope you mean zombies. <laughs> Come here, survivors. Yeah, go kill more survivors. Why the fuck not? <laughs> wait, wait. You gotta make them join first and then kill them. All right, right. Make them on my side. I can feel that uh, these these survivors have caused you quite a lot of pain over the years. Jesus Christ, I've lost all my patience. Especially for this guy. I couldn't remember uh, for the life of me how to get this guy to come with me because he is a bloody coward. He's not moving from this back room. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too fat to move and too young to die. Do you know how to budge this guy? Uh, go get a hot dog. You're going to love this. <laughs> That'll work too. Yeah, there. <laughs> you have to throw something. What's to be jerk? You have to throw something at him, but it has to be heavy enough. Like I tried throwing my magazine one time, and that didn't do it. But I threw like a brick at his face, and then he moved. So just now, you got to be a little rough with him for him to actually join you. So there we go, Gordon. You're joining us. I can just see you throwing stuff at him. Just. <laughs> Actually, uh, we'll wait till after the episode. We're, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the route I'm taking right here, the photo challenge you see right there is the second scoop that we're working on right now. This is actually part two of our uh, challenge with Kent. Ah, uh, yes. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, Kent is actually a three-part mission spanning all three days that you're here. So it's a very long mission, and they give you plenty of time to work on everything. 
I always fail the first part, or I end up killing him. So I've never seen past the first thing. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna like where it goes. This is actually a, a point where the mission will continue, or it'll just stop dead in its tracks. And we're gonna keep it going just because. Well, I'm trying to do everything. I did want to save Gordon here first, just because he's way out of the way, and the way the events are going to start falling, we need to save him now, or else we won't get a chance to. So, he is a slow fuck who will just slow everything down if we don't take care of him right now, and you think we have enough time to do it, maybe? We've got time to get back to the photo challenge on time. The one problem is, there is a time-sensitive scene coming up very soon and I don't want it to trigger while I'm escorting like five people. So I see. Let's get this guy out of the way and then we'll come... B Wait, what's that on the wall? What? Do you see that uh, little pink flyer? Actually, look, there's another one off in the... There's quite a few. Oh, no. Oh, what could this mean? It seems like some other friends have showed up to play <laughs> this uh, little Wonderland mall we have. Oh, no. Oh. Is this yeah, that's exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> let's, let's save Gordon first. Uh, one disaster at a time. <laughs> please, please. One disaster at a time. And he, I think he got stuck on a wall. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm got... too scared to go into the ladies' bathroom! I expect that's exactly how he sounds. You're giving voices to every single survivor, and I love it. I'm trying to, at least. Yeah, yeah. Now you're doing a good job. Follow me! See, the thing about uh, Gordon is that instead of him being really open to people, he's just really kind of disgusting, but really oblivious <laughs> to it all. <laughs> so it's like, I try going into the women's bathroom, like, in three different stores, but for some reason I'm not allowed there anymore in any of the stores. Hi, Kent. I feel like, but the thing is, I really like this mall, so if I were to just, you know, go into the women's bathroom, I'd be kicked out of this one, too. <laughs> oh, God, I'm being kicked out again. <laughs> All right, so the reason we took a picture of Jesse, Kent is looking for an erotica photo over 750 points. Beginner's luck. That's all. Let's have one more. Just one more contest, Frank! Be here tomorrow at noon. We'll settle this. Cool. We have satisfied Kent for now, and his next mission doesn't happen until noon tomorrow. We've got plenty of time. So what's he doing in that amount of time? Oh, developing the photos, of course. Right, it, it takes forever. Have you ever tried to develop a cold photo? It takes forever, man. Mm, yeah. Um, nah, I just go, I just go digital, because, you know, smart people do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, let's save another guy. Otis actually told us about this as we were leaving the security room at the beginning of this episode. This guy is just sitting here looking for food. So let's, uh, give him... So you're saving all the fat bastards? Yep. Who can't, who can't run to save their life? Yeah. <laughs> that is the easiest 10,000 points that you are going to get in this game. Probably. So you have to make him some food before he'll come with you? You have to give him any food item, whether it be a drink, whether it be actual, actually edible. And as soon as you give that to him, he'll come with you. Let's test out this new item, though. I mentioned it before, but uh, let's sear off zombie faces with a frying pan. Well, I can't wait. Oh, and, uh, sorry, Gordon. I had to get you out of the way. Ooh, and we got a new skill, the double lariat. Excellent. We're not showing off a lot of the skills, are we? Probably because the weapons work just as fine. Right. Uh, I'll be showing the off one, the, the one, skills, but, I think, next time. 
If we get disemboweled at any point in this playthrough, you have to demonstrate it. It's like the best move, man. Every zombie will be disemboweled. All right, Ronald. I get it. I get it. Just go through. Ronald. Go through. Ro Ronald. Oh. Ronald. There See, we go. See, that's what happens when you have a diet high in uh, saturated fat, so you just end up being stupid. Yeah, I, I totally agree. He would... He got stuck on a potted plant more than anything because he was trying to loop around the giant opening. I guess there's no way of making it through that ankle-high pile of benches. I guess. And by the way, where are all the zombies? I don't know. I actually do have an answer for this. I keep seeing more of those pink flyers. That is part of the reason. It's the pink flyers in combination with Kent actually being there. We actually missed the time-sensitive thing I was talking about by, like, a minute. Aww. So, Aww. it's going... I didn't actually miss it, we can come back to it, but it happens in here. So, because we showed up before it, it will not happen while we are in here. So, the next time we come back, it's going to happen. Well, that's cool. So, it's time-sensitive, time-sensitive... It's like doubly time sensitive. It's right, yeah, right. Basically weird. what happens is there's a set time where it will happen, but if you're in that place and that time happens, it's not going to happen because it's a specific cutscene showing off something completely new. So if you're just in there, then Ken comes in and is like, oh, Frank's there, I never fucking mind that. Actually, what's funny is uh, during a different playthrough, I had to do this a couple times, but Kent actually appears. Like, as soon as the mission's about to end, he will just pop into existence. I think he's the only NPC oh, that does that. Oh, I was gonna think you put you gotta have the NPCs in the elevator. For oh no no no! They ha they have to be within a close proximity of you oh, when you teleport. I want to guess it's in that yellow box, maybe. Uh, something like that. If they're if they're close enough to Frank, they will come with you. It's it's really weird going through like one way hallways, sometimes that cause a transaction. <laughs> I've had fucking issues before, so don't t don't tell me it's like an exact science, because it fucking isn't. Oh, I know. I know there's problems with transitions. I, I am totally aware that there are problems. I'll show you some later. Now we save the two fatsos. What's next? Next is that scene. Oh, look at all that time on that photographer's pride. Oh, wow. That is so nice. So on our way to go do another mission, which is ending here soon... And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the story mission always ends up on the top, so you never miss it. Because it takes priority. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, Kent's mission is going to be a long time. We'll be dealing with that tomorrow. We've only got one other scoop to do before the next story mission shows up. Let's start heading there. But first, there's a little surprise waiting for us here in Paradise Plaza. Oh, yeah. Behold! The end of the world is upon us. Death itself has overflowed upon the world, defiling us all. The only path to the salvation of the soul is the purging of the tainted blood! Non-believer in our midst. If we are to achieve...
achieve salvation. His blood must flow! He must be purged! Spill his blood. The blood of the heretic! Big points. Now, something really weird about the scoring system, these guys count as psychopaths, but not towards actual psychopaths. They are called cultists when you take a picture of them, they are called psychopaths when you kill them, but they don't actually count as psychopaths. They're worth a lot of points, and you, they add up. 500 to pop, and now these guys are going to be regular enemy types. So you don't have to deal with only zombies now, you also have cultists to deal with. But the, but the, there's a thing about the cultists, though, isn't it? There's a few tricks to them, and since I killed them all so quickly, we're going to save what they can actually do to you, as far as their attacks are concerned, for the end of the episode. Spoiler warning, one hit kills. Technically. Technically, yeah. And we got another well, life yeah. point. That is so nice. More life is always good. Yep. Uh, let's escort Jennifer. I don't want to take her to the next uh, scoop that we have because it is a psychopath fight. We are going to save that for later and go ahead and save her. Might as well get her out of the way. We are saving a lot of people. Oh, Frank, your hands are so smooth. Don't voice the women. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you had a good run with these socially awkward men, which is all of them, but not the women. Well, can I have ridiculous voiced women? <laughs> sure. It's like, oh, Frank, your hands are so smooth, honey. Ooh, I'm getting a good feeling of your digits there. Ooh, what you use, now? Are they sassy? <laughs> like, every single one is sassy? Well, I don't know. Maybe she's feeling better after all of us being sacrificed by cultists. It's like, oh, man, I was about killed by them weird hooded motherfuckers. Let me tell you what. That man almost killed me, and you came and saved me. I don't think she's even black. <laughs> she is. I don't, I don't know why the fuck. No, she's just regular sassy. If, if you're going to be racist, I ain't going to hold your hand. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, God, this is devolving. Uh, so, for the curious, what happened to that cultist leader dude? Well, he'll he, be back. He probably, you know. He'll be back tomorrow. He's another day three fight. Really? I, I thought you could just go and kill him right now. So I normally did. Mm. At one point, Otis actually brings up that he what? has shown up in a different area. So you could be right. You could be stupidly wrong. I don't know. Or I could be stupidly right. Yeah, let's go with that. You're wrong, though. I like... Well, oh. There will be a point where Otis will call you about the cultist leader if you haven't found him already. Let's just leave it at that, then. So, his location is the same, but it, it's, it isn't revealed until the third day. Right. Okay. Let's anyway! A, let's agree to that. Uh, after we're done with all of these specific missions, there's going to be a lot of downtime. So, if you have some survivors that you haven't saved yet, or there are uh, some things you want to do, like get some extra prestige points, then would be the time to do it. You'll see how much extra time we actually have. I think uh, when we start out this next mission, we have until like 9 p.m. today, and it's like 3 p.m. when this next one starts, so you got six hours. You got a lot of time to kill. Six hours isn't a lot of time in-game, though. It's probably like 15 minutes. Or, or, or maybe it's midnight. I I know there the bar is like as long as Kent's is for his last huh. mission, so we, we have plenty of time to kill. Oh, you're going out to the park. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Yeah, why the fuck do you come out here? We have to. What? Okay. It's the quickest way. Trust me, it's the quickest way. We're actually going to the hardware store. We're going to go get some power tools. Yo, man, I've been driving around this park all damn day, and there ain't no more people here. Only fucking zombies. I'm getting kind of bored. I'm getting kind of hungry, too. Want to go step in a food court? You think we should kill them? Nah, man. It's not worth our infinite bullets. Shit, man, I don't got my wallet. Damn it. We could have gone to the vending machine and everything. It's hard to rob a vending machine. 
because they ain't got the kind of feelings that a human does. <clears throat> oh, look, even more flyers. <laughs> Sorry, I had to drop my chainsaw to eat some chips. <laughs> Priorities, you see. All right, here we go into Chris Lips Hardware Store. And we're going to save that for next time. What? Yep. Oh, yep, we're going to save you. that for next time. So, what happens if we give Kent the picture he does not want? Even though it's enough points, we're still going to give him the wrong type. <laughs> oh, Frank. Oh, Frank. How can you even show me crap like this? Uh, oh, you know, I really don't think you're cut out for this. <laughs> oh, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> and believe it or not, that's where the mission ends. You cannot progress to stage three. Kent is completely done with you. He doesn't want anything to do with you. Oh, Ronald. Ronald. Oh. You just can't make it past that tree. Follow me. Come on, dude. Nope, nope, uh, nope. I got a got a double around and uh, uh, oh, tuna, Ronald. whole wheat pasta, um, fish oil, uh, <laughs> vitamins. Uh, these are all things you can use and you can eat to uh, boost your brain God. power. Maybe you should Ronald. eat more of that, Ronald, instead of the burgers you're stuffing into your fat face. Ronald, and it's your a balding tree. head and your lame orange ass shirt. Guess, uh, Did you also notice there's a giant gaping hole in the entrance he could go through? Uh, I guess he's too big for it. Oh, Jesus Christ. And uh, with the power of... Notice, 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 notice! With the power of high definition, we can actually read that now. <laughs> okay, do you remember the coward? I remember the coward. I thought you had to scare him more. So, uh, me and my morbid personality, let's uh, try to <laughs> stir things up a bit. Hey, Gordon! Gordon! Too young to die? Nonsense! You wanna come with me? Ah, oh, come on, I'm a upstanding gentleman! Yep, right up the ass. That <laughs> door. Damn it, that's not gonna work. Ah. Oh. And uh, here's where I found out how to uh, get him to move. Oops. Well, how about some cookies? Is that good enough to move him? No. Oh. Uh, how about a skateboard? Let's see if we can't move him. Uh, hold on. Oh, maybe a frying pan. I'm gonna brand him? <laughs> it worked. Uh, maybe this wasn't the take that I threw the skateboard at him. I thought that was hilarious. You have to come with, come with me. Come. Okay, now oh, for what the uh, these cultists will do. They have a couple different attacks. This is the main one. Uh, uh, boom! Oh. They detonate themselves. And something funny about this... Whee! <laughs> they go right over your head. There he goes! And they do little stabby attacks, but uh, that's nothing too much to worry about. But what happens if one of them catches you? Uh, run. Terrible things. Run. Because, boom! He took out the rest of his friends. Oh. Oh, dear. Hello. Eh, eh. 